Our art crop of the day today is a beautiful example of a quartz vein illustrating the boudinage effect. Boudinage happens during compressional deformation and that's usually not a good time for mineralisation. So why would a mineral explorer get excited about this outcrop? When rocks are compressed in one direction, they extend in another direction to accommodate the deformation. If the rock contains some relatively rigid layers that are parallel to the extension direction, those layers will be pulled apart into boudins, which is French for sausages. This is a nice big quartz vein in a biotite schist and it's been deformed and compressed in this direction and the quartz vein has been stretched in that direction and it's been pulled into these football shaped pods. They're actually rods going down into the rock like that. They just happen to be cut very nicely at an end section plane here. Now this could be anything relatively rigid in a plastic host. It might be a sandstone in a shale or a limestone in a marl or anything else where this planar body is relatively rigid compared to that host. When that rigid body pulls apart, areas of low pressure develop between the boudins. And in some cases, you get new minerals growing in those areas of low pressure. In this case, we can see some actinolite crystals and a bit of new quartz growing in there. In just in a few rare cases, it can result in ore bodies. The Cali gold ore body is formed exactly in this manner on a much smaller scale. Small quartz veins have been pulled apart and gold grains have deposited in the areas of low pressure between the boudins. And in fact, that's one of many examples on many scales where ore deposits form in areas of dilation during deformation of some kind. From the tiny scale of a small quartz vein to a huge regional scale. Here is where you want to look for ore bodies.